Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Entwistle. For those of you that are new or this is your first video of mine, hello and welcome to my channel. This is going to be my 28 week pregnancy update. That's right, we are in the final trimester of this pregnancy, which is so crazy. There has been quite a bit of things going on, including I did have a doctor's appointment today, so I have a lot of things to share with you guys. So we are just going to go ahead and jump right into this update. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. Also, you can click the little bell notification right next to it so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Also, I have been more active on my Instagram account, just Tiffany underscore Entwistle or just Tiffany Entwistle. I will have that on the screen somewhere for you guys, but I've been posting on there just about every day. I'm trying to get used to posting on there a lot more because that is how I am going to update you guys whenever I get closer to delivering this baby. Also on there, you do get to see cute little pictures of my kids, of my growing belly, and all sorts of things like that. So go ahead and follow me over there if you are interested. Now without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this 28 week pregnancy update. So I'm 28 weeks and three days today. The baby is the size of an eggplant, which is about 13 and a half to 14 and a half inches. And then she's also weighing in between one and a half and two and a half pounds. So she's really getting big. I went to the doctor today. Her heart rate was 166 beats per minute. They did measure my funnus height or my uterus and it is 28 weeks exactly. So everything is measuring on track. I did ask if they could feel around and see if they could tell which position she is in just to make sure she is head down. She does seem to be crazy active and she like flips from side to side. Not so much like this. It's like I can feel her feet on one side and then I can feel her feet on the other side. So she flips a lot like that, but she's consistent in the way that she is. So I just wanted to make sure that she is just head down since that's where she's staying. And today I did see the nurse. I didn't see my actual OB today and she wasn't able to. She said that they're just so small at this point that she can't really tell as they get bigger. You can really tell by feeling on the stomach, but right now she's still pretty small. So they couldn't really tell me which position she was in. They did also take a urine sample this time. They normally don't do that at every appointment, but I guess now because I am in my third and final trimester of this pregnancy, they are going to start doing it at every visit. Also, I have had a swelling in my hands and in my feet and in my face recently. So I think that they just wanted to go ahead and check to make sure there was no protein in my urine. My blood pressure was fine, but they just wanted to rule that out just to make sure. And there was no protein in my urine, so that's great. We are now to two week appointments, which is crazy. So two weeks from now, since I just had my appointment today, I will have another appointment. And then a few days after that, in the same week, I will also go to the perinatal center or the high risk doctor and they are going to do a growth scan on baby girl just to make sure she is growing, which I've never had to have a growth scan in any of my other pregnancies, but I think that just because we do have genetic issues with two of our children, one has autism and the other one has classic PKU, so they're both genetic issues and they just, I guess, with that want to make sure this baby is growing right on track. No arguments for me because that just means that we get to see baby girl. Lots of times they will go ahead and flip on the 3D for us, so we'll get to, possibly we will get to see facial features and stuff like that, which is always exciting. Now we're going to go ahead and go into these symptoms. Number one symptom this past week has definitely been heartburn. I can avoid stuff with red sauce and onions and anything that normally gives me heartburn and I will still get heartburn. I am taking Zantac in the morning and in the evening and then I still do have to take my Rolaids at least once or twice throughout the day just to help me out some. Like right now, I'm suffering. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go get some Rolaids because it's just so annoying. Like I mentioned before, I do have quite a bit of swelling, mostly in my hands. But if I'm doing a lot that day, like a lot of cleaning or you know, running around, running errands, then my feet will also get swollen. And I have noticed that my face also is a little bit more puffy 
in the mornings, which is not really normal. But again, there was no protein in my urine. It's just your normal pregnancy swelling, which is awesome. My last pregnancy update, I think I had said that I was either just under the 10 pound or just over 10 pounds gained for this pregnancy. As of today, I was 13 pounds gained for this pregnancy, so I don't know if this swelling has anything to do with why that jumped up so much. I'm not eating very much more. I have had some cravings, which we'll get into at the end of this video, but so I don't really know what the sudden jump was. I don't think I've gained that much in a week, but then again, the baby is getting big, so I don't know, but I'm at 13 pounds gained for this pregnancy so far, which again, isn't that bad because normally I gain way more by this point. I am getting more and more uncomfortable every day. Obviously, my stomach is growing every day. It just seems like there is lots of things that it's starting to get harder to do, whether it's bending over or reaching up on cabinets to get stuff that is a little bit higher up and or getting comfortable to sleep at night, finding a comfortable position. So I'm just, I'm really feeling it these days. I'm just getting so, so big. And I know that's true because I was able to squeeze into my shirts, my regular shirts for a long time. And then I went on to wearing just my bigger, comfier lounge t-shirts. And that's pretty much what I stayed in. Then I had to start wearing my husband's t-shirts and then from there no, nothing fits and I'm just stretching out everything that I put on. So we did go ahead and get a few more maternity shirts for me that will hopefully, fingers crossed, last me throughout the rest of this pregnancy. But we will see how that works. I do know that I probably am going to have to get a pair of maternity shorts just because I'm going to be delivering in April. and. We have had a couple warm days here recently and it just makes me feel like I should probably have a pair of shorts. This one might be a little bit TMI, but I have noticed along with my heartburn, I am having like, I've noticed that whenever I go and burp, it's a little juicy. Most of the time there'll be like stuff coming up behind it like I'm about to throw up. Um, so that's really gross and I really don't like that, but it's a thing and it's happening So I am peeing all the time, which is very inconvenient at this point in time Like I'm peeing so frequently that it is actually hard to get through the pickup line. My sons go to two different schools um, So I will pick up my youngest and then I will go pick up my oldest of the boys that are in school and it's like an hour and a half and sometimes that's really hard on me. She is also very responsive to touch and voice these days, which is so sweet and we just love it so much. So I can like, if I, she's in a weird position and it's uncomfortable for me, I can poke her around and get her to move. Also, if my husband will come up to my stomach and touch her or even just talk to her, lots of times she will respond just to his voice. Or whenever we are in the car and I am singing, seems like she's in there dancing. She just moves a lot whenever I'm singing, so that's super cute. And one thing that is really, really annoying and a little bit scary, I will not be hungry and then bam, I will be so hungry that I feel shaky and I get the sweats and I feel like I'm about to pass out, which has never been a problem for me. I've never had that happen to me before, but it is definitely happening now. And I did bring that up at my appointment today and she said that I just need to make sure I'm eating a little bit more carbs and some protein and just stay on top of eating. She said that it is very possible that I'm getting low blood sugar and that's perfectly fine. Your glucose is gonna go up and down throughout the day as you're eating or not eating. So I just need to make sure I am eating quite frequently so that that doesn't happen. Now into the cravings. I've only really been craving one thing and that has been ice cream. I love ice cream. I mentioned in my last update or maybe the one before that that I had gotten a blizzard from Dairy Queen and it was so good, better than Brahms. Since then I have had Dairy Queen one more time and Brahms one more time. So ice cream has definitely been a craving this week, which could also contribute to the weight gain, but I can't think of anything else to update on for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 28 week and three day belly. So here we are at 28 weeks and three days from the side. Definitely, definitely getting bigger. 
and here we are from the front still very much round and more wide than how I carried my boys and here we are from the other side but that is it for this video before I close off though I do want to add that I'm wanting to do I know we are getting really really close to 5,000 subscribers and I was thinking about maybe possibly doing a 5k Q&A if I have enough questions or enough people that like that idea and would like to have a Q&A from me. So let me know if you if that's something that you guys would be interested in down below and I, if I get enough response from you guys then I will definitely do that. I will probably ask for questions on my Instagram, so go ahead and go follow me on my Instagram. That is always linked down below, but it is just Tiffany Entwistle or Tiffany underscore Entwistle, one of the two, but I will try and put it up on the screen for you guys. Just go on over there and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of my updates. And that way, whenever I announce that I'm doing a Q&A, you guys can put out your questions on Instagram. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. Also, click the little bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Also, if you are pregnant, trying to conceive, or just had a baby, let me know down below in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys and having talks with you guys in the comment section. I just love hearing from you guys and being able to talk to you guys. So go ahead and let me know down below and that is it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys